this is a really good question because prior to therapy, um, I'd never apologized. Apologizing was too close to being defeated. This is why I think narcissist people don't apologize because whenever we get defeated, and whether it's in losing an argument, somebody accuses of something that we lie about and get caught in a lie, um, it's too close to being wrong. It's close to too, too, too close to being defeated. It's too close to saying, "Okay, you got me." You know, you're right. I hated saying she was right, or some of my male friends that I led in the Navy. Dog, you're right, man. I hated that. So an apology was like saying, "You're better than me. You caught me." Narcissistic people don't like to be wrong, you know. And so, um, all of my ex girlfriends used to tell one of them specifically used to tell me, "Leon, you never apologize," and I was like. For what? You shouldn't have made me mad. That was my excuse for not apologizing. Even though I was wrong, I would never admit to being wrong, but I wanted her to admit to being wrong. And a lot of times I got away with it. So I never um, changed that mindset until therapy. I failed therapy twice with a psychiatrist and a psychotherapist. I didn't even know what the heck a psychotherapist was. But prior to therapy, I would never apologize. Didn't apologize, didn't want to apologize, couldn't be wrong. It felt bad to be wrong. It felt bad to uh, like to communicate that I was wrong. It felt bad to want to settle the difference unless I was right and I was going to win the difference. I was going to win the argument. But in recovery and therapy, you learn to um, understand what an apology is like. You learn to that you learn that it's okay to be wrong. You learn that it's okay to forgive. I had so one week it was like, okay, Leon, we're going to talk about well, Mr. Walker, we're going to talk about forgiveness this week. And every time she would give me something to talk about for the next week, I'd be hot, like pissed, like I didn't want to do it. Um, next week, we're going to talk about your mom and dad. Ooh. Next week, we're going to talk about apologizing. Next week, we're going to talk about saying I'm sorry and why. Next week, we're going to talk about who hurt you. Because when I walked in my therapist's office, the fourth one, I believe, first thing she said was, I'm not going to hurt you because I was always guarded. And I didn't even realize I was guarded. I didn't realize I was abused until I was 46 years old, but I was abused from five to 12. And then I started abusing people that um, remind me of the people that abused me. So I was abusing and didn't even realize that I was abusing people, verbally abusing people, mentally abusing people. I was never physically abusive. And so I got in trouble in the Navy twice, 2004, 2005, for being verbally abusive. So in therapy, recovering as a recovering narcissistic person, I had to learn how to apologize and mean it and feel it and be be uh, honest about it. So this is a really, really good question. Thank you for that.